Hello everybody out there. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to se season two of uh, the tenth point. I am your host for this evening, Luca, not thousand. Um the red mage unfortunately um is out of town and so couldn't be hosting on this fine evening. Um with me in the booth, I will be having Neff, and um, Hi. you. We will. I we have a smothering of minor technical difficulties, but as soon as we uh, we have the rounds underway, I will be fixing those up right as they come. So. Let's get a going, is shall we? Um, players, I will be calling you as soon as I am able. So please, everybody, accept my um. Uh, where did everybody fucking go? Uh, Epoch, have you accepted my requests on Hangouts? Oh, this is going poorly. Um, okay. More technical difficulties. Uh, Neff. Yeah? How do I change, how do I work on a, on a, uh, a, a view that I'm currently not in? Uh... I don't know Streamlabs that well. I right now I I need I can only change what uh, what what view we have, and I can only work on the view we currently have. So I think there is a studio up. mode. What on like the side? Studio what? Um. Uh, oh. I'm watching my OBS to tell you where it is. Oh, there. I think that might let you work on. Yes. A thank you. Team. And then I am able to work on this while we're going to set that up. Nice. That's uh... okay. Um... We should also change end of tournament banter to not end of tournament banter. Oh yeah, I. Everything is going sideways, uh... and it's not week one either. I'm doing great right now. I said that we would take these technical difficulties as they came up, and that is what we will do. Uh, and I'll change low man's name to Neff. And 
right, so I can make that transition. We can make me an elk if you want. And what? Make me an elk. Oh. You don't have I'm, something... I'm not going to show my face. Might as well get turned into an elk. Uh, I would, mm -hmm. but uh, that would take me going and uh, actually get it, googling an image of an elk. Well, I guess I'll do that. So... Okay, I need to... Figure out the getting us we are just setting up uh, um so I can show the fine match we're about to partake on. Elk. I, I will elk it up. Hey, there we are. Hmm. I have one call going. From our daughter. Yeah. And so uh, I am going to need a, a uh, Nick. Dear Nikki, to, to call me. I've posted the the relevant address in the chat. And so folks out there, I'm so sorry for this interruption in our schedule, but we will get on the way very soon. I promise. <laughs> yep. And I just hope people can't hear when pe when people are calling me. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now I have both streams. Uh, that appears to be working. I have muted myself, and we are, it appears, ready to go. Uh, and so I will, oh, they are go just going, Ugh, I haven't had time to set up the hand cams. Probably. Well, that's just great. Okay. I'll have to improvise and rather quickly.
So I can choose Good, okay I am almost ready on my end Nice To show All this fine magic that is going on uh, Neff, since you uh, you since you won't be uh, um, in any call with you, is it you are fine with getting the hand cams from uh, from the stream? Yes. Yep. Yeah, it'll work. think that's good enough. Uh, that should say enough. Yeah, there should be a little delay between me seeing stuff. Yeah, and okay. Uh, I'm s sorry, but that is just what will have to happen. Uh, okay. This is Nicholas, and that's And I have, of course, already um, messed up one of the names. That is, of course, uh, player one is Epoch. And uh, I can you see? Yep, I can see. So, I can see this pile of magic cards that are being played. And so what we appear to have is a very fine mid-range as far as i can tell or maybe slightly aggressive versus i, I think it's a little more on the aggressive end yeah, versus a classical artifact based uh, combat uh, combo strategy they, they seem to be eggs based off of the whole led salvagers in their hand and them getting lotus just now yeah. Um, no, no, they're going to. No. Oh, no, okay, this should deal. be. This this was a rather rough intro to the to the match, but uh, yeah. it will get better for round two. Yeah. Yeah. That looked like a punt in my book until I realized I think they're staring down lethal damage. Oh, yeah, just put it... Yeah, yeah. I would have waited to salvagers loop them, but they are actually staring down what it is lethal damage, so I and, uh, see why they... Th it. With this and the rest of their hand, this is inevitable, really, like... Boros Jam, Shard Volley... Like, yeah. He had lethal in hand. 
No. Like even like looking at nine points on board plus like a potential DRS activation or like prowess trigger, you're still almost definitely dead, which means you have to go off that turn and lose your A plus B. Yeah. Okay. So they get scrap troller to block and hope to not die, I guess. <clears throat> they could have kept on going. Or actually, they couldn't have. Okay. Hmm. They could have sacked elsewhere flask to get back the lotus and make the scrap troller's death net value. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, but like that, they, they were they in, in no just, position they can to also just, actually you know, go off in a in a yeah. meaningful way, right? Yeah. Like they're just dead here. But if you're trying to like use your scrap shoulder to stay alive, you might as well get as much value off of it as possible. Yeah. Which is why I would have sacked flask. But unfortunately, they're just dead there. Yeah. And so, uh, game two is opened up. Yeah, we should, um, uh, should we should we like update the standings thingy? Oh yeah. Uh, so that is. Yeah, I would keep this hand as an eggs pilot. Yeah. Like they have three eggs, a second sunrise, and Tezzeret. Apparently, they ship it to try and be faster. I'd also keep the second one. Which has map to get academy, I suppose. And the Sylvan Scrying to get another land. So, the Thalia in Epoch's hand is probably going to be the biggest problem for Nicholas. Yeah. Though I... Though from the experience of the deck, I know you can go off through a Thalia. It's just a little bit difficult. Yeah. Um, I don't really have much... Uh, I, I don't play combo decks myself. That That's not my territory, really. Yeah. I like, I've only really played eggs and a some pod and like a bit of some other stuff, but like I know eggs really well, I guess, is the only difference between it and other combo decks for me. Yeah. Though I am not familiar with some of the more like recent lines that people go for in the deck. They, because there's a lot of cards that like have fallen out of favor quite recently. Yeah. And so you're you're more more aware of the traditional style, or or, what? or just how I played it like six months ago, not like ah okay like cards like Oko and Collector Oof changed how people build the deck. Ah, of course. Like, and I also uh, played traditionally a little different of a point spread than most people. Opting to cut uh, Mana Crypt, or not Mana Crypt, uh, Mana Vault before most people have. Mm, yeah. Like, I played uh, Intuition over Mana Vault for a while. Oh. And now that, like, they pointed Crop Rotation, I play neither. Well, fair. Uh, so yeah, almost <laughs> this this to, hand to... looks like it kills them, like because you can sacrifice your egg to draw a card, sacrifice your larger egg to get back the first egg and draw a card. Yeah, and or you need to find a way to kill Wellspring, but there's a way. I traditionally didn't play Wellspring because it didn't self-sacrifice, but it does go card positive, which is really good. So, uh, 
Epoch thinks that they don't need an on-crop crash or can like use lightning strike as disruption or something along those lines. That's what I think. Hmm. Okay. Cause, yeah, because like you can disrupt the scrap trawler at a core time when no artifacts are in the graveyard, then just kind of ruin everything. In fact, they might just kill it off right now. The scrap trawler? Yeah, scrap trawler lets them draw what I presume will be an extra two cards if they like try and start cracking eggs. Especially with the alchemist file, they should have killed it. Mm. Yeah, the... Yeah, okay. Um, oh, yeah, they can go off and tell here. It's not the end of the world, so... Like, round one of Academy Mana, I guess. It's, I, I, I thought this would be like a a a a, uh, a a real opportunity for for Nick to 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 uh, go off in the face of uh, aggro, um, but I I didn't realize that it was X and not the uh, more tri uh, what I'm more familiar with with which is the um uh what's it called Paradox academy. academy yeah uh i think they oh might okay. just die here also yeah they're dead like, they are. that was a setup turn definitely oh. if they can stick oko they actually probably have a chance though because it's oko um so we will be looking for another match. I assume that was very quick. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, that's a burst lightning, isn't it? It it's it's over, my dude. Yeah. I. I it's a death stream on my end. Anyways. Yeah. Um. So I know, maybe would... I should maybe I should join that call just to like see it. Yeah. If, see if it you faster. have the. Uh, uh, Ability to. Yeah. I do. I like will send me invite you to the course. Nice. Uh, send me yeah, your email uh, on the Discord. Oh uh, yeah, I'll I'll DM it to you. There we go. He should be able to send it to me. Indeed, they do. Okay, so what's our next match? I guess. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, okay, I will priority, invite you to prioritize me. that over getting me in. <clears throat> so. Uh, that means they were actually the quickest match done. I am exceptionally bad at choosing uh, feature matches. Feature matches currently. So I will. Uh, I am looking to which will be better. Um, you have a, a look through the, the 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 four matches of round one. I can't see the the, the match. I don't really have like a fully functioning magic online account, so I can't. Oh uh, no! I mean, uh, in the Discord. Oh, like I can see them in the channels. You, you can see who has been paired with who. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, well, I think uh, so. That was Ever versus Nick. Uh, Evo versus no, Nick. this I was think we did, like 
I think this was got like uh, Epoch, wasn't it? What? Uh, I think we could like look at Evermist and Bad Wolf. Evermist versus Bad Wolf. Coming. They, no, the, no, Bad Wolf wasn't here yet, right? Yeah, uh, uh, he is here. He uh, oh, he he showed not, up it's not right the, after it's not uh, the, the, not the, the voice round started. Thing, okay. Yeah, we could look at them. I think they might have something interesting going on. Uh, yeah, I will get this. Good. And then in OBS, I have pictures. One minute. Right away. Now, Neff, view the stream, please. <laughs> you there? Yeah, one. I've just been. Things. Fantastic. Good. Uh, I will. Uh, try the. There is. But one minor technical difficulty. Um, and that is... Uh, I can't actually capture m on my end. Because in order for me to stream... I have to run off the um, the NVIDIA graphics embedded in my laptop, but it's not the on-chip graphics. You know, you know what I'm saying? Kind of. So the, oh, the yeah. Intel chip has onboard graphics. Yeah, integrated graphics. Integrated, yeah. So... The in order to stream, I have to run Streamlabs off of my Quattro card because only G in in only Nvidia cards is a works with Streamlab. But Intel, but the external screen is run off the of the integrated graphics so they can't see each other oh. I can't capture magic on my end which is bad so we can only oh, the only reason we could watch the previous game was because what? It was Hangout. captured on their end and streamed to me via, via Hangouts. So we would need to pull one of the next matches aside during like between games two and three to get them into a yeah. feature match. Um, that is essentially what needs to be done. Let's drop it in chat to see who's between games. Um, okay, we have another result. Uh, so you wanted to see Ever Mist versus uh, Moon, uh, the yeah, the works. Bad Wolf. I I I call I call Bad Wolf Moon. From time to time, I don't know why. It's just the name my the profile, mind has come It's up. the profile picture. Ah, yes. Uh, 
uh, I'll drop the request and let's hope we get a better feature match, uh, a, a better chosen feature match. Not that the match wasn't great, but uh, it was just A, quick, and B, we were a bit late, late to it. <laughs> uh, so I'll message Batwolf and... Yep. Bad Wolf was up against uh, Ever Mist. I have, oh. I have uh, requested that they share with us. Well, they are the very last match. So, to recap what has happened, outside of what we reviewed, we reviewed Epoch just completely plow through Nicholas. Uh, like, that's just yeah. how it goes. Sometimes the matchup yep. isn't very favorable. <laughs> yeah. Then we have. You, um, you, you, get, you see the Thalias, you see the burn spells, and you just lose. Yeah. Um, Para, Para Nundrux, our wonderful moth, has won in 2 0 versus Blast Shark. Um, that makes it um, individual. Da -da -da. Did you know that Tolarian Academy is a good card? Oh, yes. Um, it just hasn't really wor worked out on stream. Uh, we just <laughs> yeah, saw a, uh, a, 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 a Tolarian Academy, I think in both games we watched, of, uh, of yeah. uh, Nick versus Epoch, and uh, that didn't go too well. Yeah, that's what yeah. that's what I was saying is like I played some eggs and I tried to go back to it recently, but like Academy just feels so much better because the thing is you're trying to park your Academy with eggs and eggs, and then you're playing all these honestly pretty bad one mana spells, and so your hands just kind of don't look great and your draws are like there's a lot of synergy draws, but that just makes the individual draws kind of bad. Where with Academy, it, like well, if like I did it in game two, I went uh ancient tomb into a two mana rock into Lotus Petal next turn, like two more two mana rocks and Academy, right? Yeah, which I found off my ponder. So it's like you just have so much mana there, and each card that you're playing, like you're not playing one mana artifacts that cycle, you're playing two mana artifacts that add more mana. So you can leverage those to more powerful plays. So, yeah, now they so, don't cycle as well. So if you draw dead draws late, got, but like eggs isn't trying to go late either, anyways. So. Yeah. Like one of the games, they got Thalia, so that was <laughs> yeah. And that's the thing where like eggs really struggles with Thalia because you're not running like the Paradox Engine, and your mana is a lot more constricted because you're paying two mana to increase your Academy by one, as opposed to like a two mana Rock. Sure, you're paying three mana for it, but it does add one mana on this turn and next turn in addition to powering up your Academy. So you can kind of fight through it to some extent, even if they have a Thalia in play and you don't have Academy. And then if you do get Academy, you can just go off. Yeah, it's. It's possible, but there was just enough burn in hand in those mm -hmm. games. Yeah, well, that's that, and that's the thing. That's what you really want to be doing. And that's what makes Thalion that kind of deck good. Is you can constrict your opponent's mana, you can constrict their plays, you, and then you apply the pressure. It's really it's the two part. You need to hold them down, and you need to apply pressure. If you don't apply pressure, your Thalion's not going to do anything. 
but if you can get that pressure, so you give them say five turns, like and you're like, under and Thalia, also like the wheels harder. just kept the wheels just kept on drawing uh, epoch into burn. Yeah, and that's that's the thing is your wheels like eggs. You're I feel like in eggs you have more turns where you're gonna might go wheel pass. Um, where academy you're probably just gonna try to wheel and go off, and when you wheel pass, you're just giving your opponents gas. And I think. I think it was last yeah. week, yeah, I was playing eggs, and that kind of happened, where I was in that position where I'm against a burn deck, and it's like, I can't really afford to wheel, because I probably can't win off it this turn, unless I get incredibly lucky, and even if I and if I don't, then I probably just lose, because I'm at, like, seven, and I'm probably drawing my opponent seven damage worth of spells and creatures. Yep. So it, it's definitely a tough match. Uh, this is why I've been for your, cutting uh, wheels reservoir. from my other wheel-heavy deck. So we have the match, the final match of round one up on stream. We have Ever of Mist. Uh, wait, uh, did I get invited? Yeah, two seconds. Oh. Uh, it, it was just real scrapped together. So that is uh, right there. And I can invite you. You were there. There you go. Okay, I should see you in a minute. Huh, it's not really working. That's irritating. Yep. Um, yeah, it definitely happens, Nick. And it's really rough, right? You, you get sometimes... Like, you live by the you, like, you die like, by the and I've, link? I've had games where I've drawn literally like seven uh, lines off of you, and you're sitting there like, well, I only have 29 in a deck. I can send you the link. Yep. Or I've had a, I had a game... On a previous uh, tenth point, where I uh, had eleven mana on turn two, and then I drew lands for five turns running, and then I died. Uh, oh. Yeah, it, it happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's my, magic, right? I I really so wish like run less every lands. Wheels deck could like. Uh... Yeah. I wish every wheels deck could just uh, run 25 lands and always hit their first few land drops. Because once you start wheeling, you hit all the land drops and it, you win. So I now see the stream. Yeah. And this is some spicy magic we are witnessing here today. So, I think that's a Gideon of the Trials. Uh, yeah, that's the seven uh, SDCC um, Gideon of the Trials. Huh. Yeah, it's a really cool alt art of it. So, it's like a, it's, it's an Abzad Minrage Mirror, except one of the players has creature combo on their deck. Sadly, it's the Therese Nielsen promo. <laughs> yeah, so... And I don't see an emblem. So they can lose this game. No. In, um, this is interesting. In theory, if Evermind gets to untap with this cradle, they can just, like, cast and sack Hulk and just win. Yeah, it'll be interesting if um wolf just emblems here how that interferes with the plan to do that right uh like, there's mean, like there's like let's see uh can i have their do we have lists because i could yeah pull it up um there. we have lists i have to imagine they have a way to get there uh yeah because i saw a kiki jiki when they were searching just now okay yeah then if this is a greedy jiki then definitely you can just 
Uh, I Ooh. will send That's you. That's the damnation. Also, you have enough attackers here to clear this Gideon, right? Like, uh, that that damnation like really hurts Evermist. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you're the creature's deck. You're setting up for your combo, and mm, now you're no, down both, to four. I think mana. both of them are the creature's deck. Just well, yeah, I mean, in this matchup, right? Like, and on this yeah. board state, your opponent's just trying yeah. to get as much value out of these walkers yeah. as possible. The wrath does not affect them. We're here. You're setting up for a creature-based combo. You've lost your sack outlet, which makes this whole off uh, more difficult. And, and enough mana to hard mana. cast the Hulk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're yeah. down to four mana here, so. I guess, like, maybe if you draw land, you can play this Lily minus this Lily and get, like, the wall down. But your Lily is also... And then again, they have this Gideon, too, who can pressure your Lily if you drop her. And this and the tree top thing start, yeah. Getting in, so... Like, I presume they're gonna play Pilgrim or something. Everyone is in a really awkward position. Um, and I have to imagine that a lot of their... Like, this... Uh, yeah, see, this Pilgrim, I was going to say, like, you have these Monodorks that can kind of help you accelerate your mana, especially with the Cradle and Blight, but there's a Lily on the other side of the board, so she's just going to pick them off. So, Absence Pilgrim yeah. doesn't really do anything here for you. Um, like, I think the, your best bet is to, like, get back Wall of Roots. Well, you don't have, you can't, yeah, but you can't play the Wall of Roots if you get it back this turn. It's still, like, better like, than Like, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely agree. I think you get it back, because Plussing Lily doesn't do anything. She's going to die anyways, so, and you really need to rebuild your mana here. Um, and plus the wall can block the treetop village for a bit, so that can help you fall and for a the wall little. basically has haste when it comes to being a board. Exactly, yeah. Um, well, yeah, wall is essentially yeah. free. Um, it, well, it's mono neutral right now, because you can play it for two, then tap your cradle for one, and remove a counter for another one, so... Yeah. And yeah, yeah, like, like Chet's saying, there's definitely combos that, um infinite combos that can kill a Gideon and the player. It just depends what flavor of combo they have in their deck. Um, yeah. Well, like, I saw the Greedy Kiki, and I presume the Greedy Kiki means you can set up, like, the whole Karmic Guide. Yeah, well, well if you have Karmic a Karmic Guide pile. Oh, you mean with a Polk? Yeah, probably. Like, there's gotta have a way to get things out with it. Um, and if you do, then you yeah. can just or get a... The... So they got the Aristocrat back, which is an interesting play. Because the Aristocrat survives Lily, and... Yeah, it's it survives really the and gives them a, um, a sack outlet for the Protean Hulk. So, thing to, like, hit, uh, what off the top? Uh, if they had sneak attack, they could sneak attack the Hulk, but they're not red. And that Elspeth probably means they just lose, like, much quicker. Yeah, I mean, there's like eight power, now nine, well, eight plus one per turn, or you can jump for three. So they've got like a turn or two here. Like, I presume you can't dig your way out of this, unless you like hit the exact nut draw of mana positive creatures and land drops. Yeah, I mean, really setting them back on money here is what really got them with that uh, damage. Yeah, it wasn't really even the board state. The board state was just... Icing on the cake, I guess. Down seven lands to five. One of their lands is a cradle with no creatures in play, and the opponent has three walkers. Oh, so. okay. So they go to six mana off of the Cartel Aristocrat. If they hit a... Ugh, if they hit, like, a land drop, they can win. Like, they're actually not completely out of it here. Yeah, they're... They're, like... A pod deck. Yeah, if they, if they, I think if they hit birthing pod or, uh, yeah, or like aristocrat, I presume they don't. Yeah, or like a land, they don't lose because you can like sack aristocrat to do some shenanigans. So, what they have in their deck that can, like, deal with this, uh... Yeah. Vesper Lark. I guess Recurring Nightmare probably gets them out of this also. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, did they ult their uh, Jerk? Uh, yeah, they they lose. There's no way for them to like get out of this. Like, uh, there's two man lands. Uh, Elspeth jump. Lily tokens. Chad, like, and they drew like not a combo piece or tutor off the top or land. It is they needed a one mana creature, I think. No, that didn't, wouldn't even do it. They they can't get out of this, and if they like, jump yeah, with they their need to jump Doctor. Yeah, they yeah they would need like Ornithopter or a land. <laughs> so, well, land doesn't do it either, right? One, two, three, four, five. Land no. gets to six mana. No, land gets them to seven. So that is it. Plus four. cradles, cradle taps for one, so they don't put them at. No, but like or seven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, they could have gone their fatal land, but they didn't. Yeah, good. they just needed something to get plus one mana. Pretty close, but they had outs. Okay, it's over. Yeah, I'll be making round two pairings in a okay, hot uh, second. Yeah. I'll be back real quick. <laughs> To the so we had para that one that one We had so para one in two epoch one in two. We had secret pipesman with a phenomenal victory in three over Brahms. And finding it eight, we had Bad Wolf in a spectacular, almost mirror match. Not quite. Bad Wolf, of course, as we just saw, winning in three. And that means it's right time for round two. I will post it quickly. And this rains feature will thus be hmm. da, da, da. just rounding it out Okay. So, we're waiting for round two. Yeah, I am. Uh, that will be... Um, Secret Pipesman versus Bat Wolf will be our feature match. Sweet. <laughs> uh, 
Everybody that is not Secret Pipeman or Bad Wolf, please leave the room. And of course, we will just need to get the players up to speed first. So stand by as we will figure things out behind the scenes. Thank you. We have da 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 da. da. This is really iffy. Um, uh, where the did Bad Wolf go? Okay, so uh, I, you two, I will post my information in the uh, tournament discussion and you two will have to call me because I've tried calling you and you don't receive these calls. Yeah, okay, good. Some, something about my client. Not you, Neff, Bad Wolf and Secret oh, Placement. No. Oh. I still don't think it works with me either. Uh, see. Mm. See. Bad wolf. There we go. Uh, so it's a video call or? Yes. Uh, but first things first, Bad Wolf, your m mic is infinitely, infinitely quiet. I can barely hear you. Let me just fix that. Better now, or...? Yes, that's uh, audible, yeah. at least. Um, yeah. And yes, uh, that is good. Should be higher now? 
Yes. Okay, we're good. Uh, okay, so... So that was one cow call. Uh, so video call. Oh, my oh God. Thank you. And I will then uh, invite Neff. Oh nice. my god, this is so loud. Hang on. How can I lower this video call? Are you receiving my invites, Neff? Uh, if you're sending them via Hangouts, no. Like, uh, I don't know if kind of. Maybe I can try to invite him. Uh, it would no, be like, just in general. I can't see any like conversation logs or anything. That is rather iffy. Okay. Uh, yeah, my Hangouts is being weird. I'll copy the links and give them to you Thanks. instead. Thanks. Here's one. Here is the other. Uh, how to share screen? There we go. Uh... Okay, thank you. Um, that I can't works. see. I can only see the screen of Lord Anxi at the moment. There we have sure the second. Now. That's good. Yep. Fantastic stuff. Just wait a couple. Uh, have they moved? No. Uh, Bad Wolf and Secret Pipesman, just wait a couple minutes from, from you've started till, so I can set up the hand cams, please. Yeah, sure. But you can start now. Yeah, start the, going to the game. I've already... Uh... Sent on. Oh. Sent, I. He just has to exit. Oh. Decline. Yeah, that's a. It's a room in the tournament practice. Vintage yeah, tournament practice. Yeah, you you need to ah. make a room. Oh, it it actually doesn't matter. It's already there. To this week because I can't record yeah. on my end because of a bug. I'm sorry. So I I'm recording exclusively of the the cams from you guys. Oh. Okay, we are in the game then. And so I will be setting up the hand cams now. Just keep in position, please. Mm. <sighs> That's there. Okay, so can I? Are we ready to start? Almost, here? almost ready. Nice. I am making the hand cams. And for simplicity of like keeping my screen static so the hand cams are easy, I'll be muted. I'll mute my computer, but I'm still gonna like be in these calls because otherwise I have to leave things or mess with audio settings and stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll be muting everything in my end, so.
Okay. Uh, it is always... We are almost ready. Quick reposition should do the trick. And then I need to add another instance. Underneath both players so you can see what's going on. And you are ready to go. You can begin. And leave this channel. All right, here we go. Uh, should we should we move because they're in here and not moving? Uh, that we should. Uh, Jack, no, no, please. No, no. Okay, we're in Jank. So, from what I can see, we're... Uh, we are, once again, no. on the wrong names, but that is fine. So it's like... Grixis something versus Abzan midrange. Yeah. This is, um, if I can find the dam. Grixis tempo, I guess. Yes. Uh, no, no, not. Uh, wait, Grixis? This is. Uh, it looks Grixis. Oh. Yeah, it's. Versus Abzan. Or what seems to be Abzan at the moment. This is. Uh, four color. Yeah, it's Syrix. If you know the. The terminology. Because I don't. The, the Nephilim terminology? It's it's a uh, four color uh, acro deck. Oh, and not acro. Oh. Mid range is Syrux. Oh, chess. Uh, checks. Checks. No, but checks doesn't doesn't play blue. X e r e x. Oh, Xerox, as in they play a bunch of cards that can trip and. Yeah. They have really consistent draws because of that. So, like, from the Xerox theme, we've already seen the uh, Serum Visions. I presume they're also playing cards like, I don't know, Brainstorm. Yeah. And to go with the Xerox thing, they have that uh, Fairy Vandal. That is indeed the... the... It theme. synergizes quite well with, like, just drawing a second card off of your cantrip every turn. Uh, and up against him is, of course, uh... Wolf. Yeah, Bad Wolf. Which is on Absan Walkers. So, that's there. I'll fix the bleep and skull is, card because which is that's... why they have a cleansing nova because most of the threats don't get hit by it oh yeah yeah the, we yes we saw a hand were worst because it's like mind sensor as the threat yes um Okay, so that's a brutality in one mode. No, that was two modes. It killed the 
it, yeah, it, killed the sensor, took the Ross. Which is like that's a beating and a half. Yeah, because we Ross have is actually pro this pro is pro turn probably gonna end five. I think that Ross was going to end up a one for one. Looking and, at how this furry van. Yeah, goes. but but still. And yet, if like it, it doesn't really matter, right? Because they have not—they just got lands versus a handful of efficient cards and removal. So, uh... also, yeah, my games are already over. I got crushed by uh, Price of Progress, which I knew was happening, but that's life. That okay. was the fastest thing. Oh yeah, I... no. Okay, I think they actually stand a chance. Huh. With that whole Elspeth off the top, off the top. Yeah, that was like eight minutes from when you posted the matchup to when our games ended. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. The first one was not close. The second one. They needed a literal <laughs> price to kill me, and they had literal price, so... So, they can't kill... Oh, they can kill all Elspeth. That's really good. Like, Elspeth just isn't going to cut it here, is it? No. And besides, like, the, what, what would was Elspeth... Realistically, is going... gonna like spit out one ones twice and then like uh, kill the fairy vandal if it got large enough. Oh, that helps. Why? Yeah, secret pipesman didn't attack. What? It w that must have been a a misclick, correct? Yeah, it's possible to moto mix misclick. They might be. Uh, I mean, because I don't think they're trying to. Play around they might want to like try and save their yeah jace. they want to try to protect their jace from this animating shambling vent but I don't know. but still jace dies they just they also out. just get to kill mm. the shambling vent oh uh, yeah i don't yeah. know what they're like they could theoretically snuff out something block i don't know if they have enough mana to that no because they're not on blue they don't have enough blue to then pump but i mean maybe they could have i don't know what how many instances of sorceries in their graveyard it's possible they could have blocked oh snuffed out mm -hmm. and pumped the uh I think they're like just Turner, trying to but... swing the race in their fa the race in their favor by getting rid of uh, uh, the shambling event. yeah which yeah. is totally fair um like they can get blown off out by settle the wreckage this turn I guess well no they only have uh three mana or you mean this coming turn definitely yeah. yes this coming turn uh there's stream delay mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, they get blown up. That must feel really good for Bad Wolf. Yeah, definitely. And to be fair, like, I don't think it's a necessarily an incorrect attack here. You want to finish this game, you know your opponent's on a ton of wraths and removal, and this isn't, like... It's not the kind of card you can try to, you can afford to play around in this format, right? Yeah. Like, if, if you know that, like, oh, Mon Wolf's on a semi-creature Abzan deck that might want to run the one-sided Wrath settle the wreckage, then you might be like... Oh. Yeah, but at the same time, if you attack with two creatures, then any removal spell gets them an extra turn, right? Yeah. Uh, and here they find a, the force, but they don't have uh, the ability to cast it, because it's their own turn, and they don't have the mana for it. Yeah, they don't run force, I think, is what happens. Wow, those Theros basics are really pretty. They are. That is a fantastic um, well, aesthetical a uh, choice good. given to yeah, Magic players. Nice. Um, like, like I, I think like they'll probably hit a walker, and they do. And then you'll hit forced pitching remand, probably. Yeah. You know. They hit big Sorn, which oh yeah, I think that absolutely is a force. It's like Big Sworn unless them, or they can go Karn. Yeah, it doesn't they, matter, they, right? It's, they decide Big Sworn no matter what. And I think you go for the one you can cast here. 
they they can cast both. It was like it was Little Karn. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah so it was like it was Big Soren and Little Karn, and they chose Big. Little Soren Karn doesn't really because... do anything here, right? Like, now Little Karn actually might close up the game a little faster than Big Soren, but also Big Soren. Well, Big Soren provides the card advantage and has removal potential. Oh, and it gets forced and negated. Yeah, exactly. Is... Like, there's no way it was whatever uh, One Wolf got was resolving. If they got, well, I guess they got a creature, it might. But if they took a non creature, then wasn't going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, Pipesman gets down PZ. And it's like basically just a top deck war right now. So. And it seems that. Mon Wolf might be losing it. Yeah, it it, it has to be a. Uh, Ooh, there's a creature that can. That's a planeswalker that can get them out of this. Because they can either uptick for card draw, which is probably well by throw over down tick to pass. They they can't uptick. They that they if, that would leave them. If they dead. if they like uptick and hit like a dork, they could. Ah, uh -huh, yeah. That, that was a possibility, but I don't think that's the right play. Yeah, I mean, I think... So I think like, why do you risk it, right? Here, this yeah. puts you only dead to a haste creature or a removal spell, which, I mean, maybe you are dead, because I imagine you've got a haste creature in the list somewhere. I think um, I played against this, like, four-color Xerox deck. Oh, they don't have... or did... No, okay, they, no have. they don't have it. They don't. I'm yeah. pretty sure... Uh, uh, Pipesman just doesn't... Oh, Pipesman has true name, though. Yeah. I didn't. I couldn't tell if they had any these well, creatures in there. I guess you try and find a, a source of life gain off the Ajani. Yeah, I don't think like unless you draw a wrath like, here. Um, no, I love this Ajani that... so much, though. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah, the best. Like, the Garrett can't block it. The evolution stage doesn't do anything. It's just. It's just yeah. true name. The other option was if they were if they drew a big enough creature they can cast they could play it and uh, swords their own creature with a Johnny to survive a turn. But... Oh, they could have like swords the Garrick token, couldn't they? Like they well, no, they, they, already... they dropped the Garrick token off uh, the. Uh, this yeah, was they, the uptick. first win, yeah. Off the Ajani um, uptick, so they, so they didn't have that option. That's what oh, I was saying. Matt they, they, they drew a um, Urborg for turn. Uh, this was the first win, yes. Or is, was this the I, second game win? I think that was game one. It seems like game one. Yeah, I wish there well, was a way to if we have a third play. game, we'll know why. If, like, the goes the other way. Yeah. Uh, this It appears to be upper game for our favorite secret pipesman. Of course, so, fa so secret that he isn't even called secret pipesman. On Magic, though. On Magic Online. Yeah, I really like Munwolf's deck, honestly. I really like... What a hand. Uh, yeah. Acceleration. Yeah, that's a that's a fast, painful truth. Yeah, exactly. That's a painful truth. Well, if it doesn't get discarded here. Right, like... That's, oh, this is actually quite good here. Right, you get to look at the top card of their library. Or no, sorry, random card in the hand. My bad. I was thinking it's the other one. If it, yeah. if it was the, yeah, if you have to look at the top card of the library, then discard them and pick what's the most relevant threat. But I think they just are going to slam this painful truth here, right? Unless they draw something better. But yeah, I really like this mid range planeswalkers deck. Any any deck that plays a Johnny unyielding, um, I'm going to be a fan of. Yeah. yeah. What's not to love, really? <laughs> I, I mean, in paper, I play like an Orzov Monarch planeswalkers deck. So I think this takes the truths. Yeah, I would. Yeah, okay, they did go for the discard. Yeah, I think you have to like like because Liliana's not coming down until next turn, and even then you uh, yeah like so you have the chance to draw something or you can. I mean, yeah. the thing is maybe. Do no, they send a message? There's too many wraths. I was gonna say, do you try to deploy this true name? But probably not. There's just too many wraths going around. They they should have sent a message with birds. That's what I would have done. 
see if they're gonna have to brainstorm me out of how to find lands. Um, do they find one? I can't see on this. Okay, no, it looks like they did not find a land, which is really, really awkward here. They're gonna have to spend their next couple turns going Deathrite Shaman into Faithless Looting, I think, here to get back in this game. Yeah. Eesh, that is not good for them. Like, yeah. Mm. Like, and their opponent just hit Liliana, who... And I really, I can't blame their keep. Like, it's a totally reasonable keep. They've just not drawn in a way that has helped them. Um, which is unfortunate. So they just kind of... Gonna get there with the zombie every turn, I guess. Yeah, and like, I could even see... Or no, yeah, there's no minus to destroy, but they can reanimate something at some point, potentially. Um, I would not be surprised if they find removal to see it sent at uh, to death right as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Moonwolf recognizing the brainstorm into uh, no um... success. Yeah, brains will like, brainstorm into no land, right? Saying oofa. Like, it's just... Yeah, exactly. Into Faithless Looting, and then yeah, see if you can draw some lands here. Maybe um, really pitch, like, they might even pitch the true name. I don't know. No, I think keep the true name. I think true name is how you get back into this game, help clear some of these walkers and stuff. Yeah. Do they get rid of the Stifle? Um, I think you kind of like Stifle in this matchup, right? When you know your opponent's on so much stuff. Like, like maybe it's possible... Right, it's possible that you can go true name next turn, get your opponent to try to minus seven their lily to kill your true name, and you stifle the trigger. Or the activated ability, right? Like, yeah. I can see that being a line that you take. Yeah, their graveyards don't like resolve. I should. I it's should not play amazing, more which is kind of what happens when you're running this Planeswalker deck. But, like, who cares? You're making two two zombies every turn, right? Yeah, yeah, I have not played. I have not played enough mid range recently. But yeah, and it looks like they're out of cards in the graveyard, or lands in the graveyard to use for this death right. So it's really just virtually blocking a zombie by gaining life. Or no, they're okay, there was one more off the uh I missed or no, they just crack it. Yeah. And this herb really helping here because Munwolf does not have to crack it for the mana, so I can kind of deny this death shite death right shaman one mana. Thanks, you're just really running out of uh, time here. Yeah, I don't see, see any which way that they can get out of it. Because... Yeah, I don't really see a route out of here. Like, this Liliana's... Hmm. Yeah. And there's a concession. And that's into game three. So it was indeed game two we were just watching. That is yeah. okay. tight magic. Tight I magic. Would you keep uh, Bad Wolf's hand here? Uh... I guess Mun, I guess. Battle I can see it. Your Mun is pretty good with this fetch and this Urborg, and you can go for the turn two him. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I would too. Can buy, uh... And only the him gets hit up by the Inquisition here. Okay, I'm oh, gonna that, be yeah, like but that really kills the reason to be in this hand to begin with. Now, the, the, the rest makes things better, but it's still looking a bit sad. Now that we don't have the 
actual him. Uh, Wolf recognizes the the double counter spell and so he goes for the cat selection. Um, would it be perhaps just a tad more wise to to go for one of the the counter spells so that perhaps you can get your second spell through because right now. Um, We'll, f we'll have to work through a lot of counters and without any real ability to to play more than one spell a turn. Para? Nef? What's up? Oh, you you were just muted, yeah. just went silent on me. <laughs> yeah, so getting the white money here. They are not in a position. They really need to develop their mana here. If they can get down, and this drown the lock will get something if they use a fetch land too. But if they can get down this palace jailer, that'll really help, or arena rector especially. Like they have. Yeah. Some really powerful cards, they're just a little bit away. Ponder Finding Ancestral is big here. Uh, um, but, like... Um, okay, we can go for this but, uh, but, Arena Rector, but that will lead to Counterspell. Yeah, just uh, not just one Counterspell, but but two, because when Wolf had the, the duress, he chose to duress the... the um, oh, what's it called? A faithless looting instead of taking one of the counter spells. Yeah, faithless looting is a weird one to take here. And now we get to draw six cards with this uh, Arcanist and hold up both Drown in the Lock and Abrupt Decay. Yeah, that. Um, and One Wolf has four cards in their graveyard. So even if they try for this Palace Jailer, it's not getting through here, which is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, Really, they're 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 just getting Pipesman's just getting a ton of value here, and my wolf in chat says totally fair magic, which is, <laughs> I mean, it's true. Draw six cards for one mana, and that's fair. And then, then yeah, so like I just I don't see I don't think one wolf is resolving and love their spell this game, um, and that's unfortunate. Hmm. They do have the mind sensor, which is interesting. They can flash it in. And try to get a threat on the board. Um, Perhaps draw a, a, a white source so he knows that he can deploy a 1 2 punch. But even then, um, what with this uh, abrupt decay we're looking at, that's not gonna actually make any threat stick. Because uh, there's enough. Um, he he can uh, just abrupt decay it, and like he has uh, done, not counter it and save the counter for uh, a bigger thing. So though this is perhaps the best place that Moonwolf can be. Um, given the circumstances uh there is is it, it's still really not anywhere near where you need to be to be able to dig yourself out of here Yeah, and so like what they're really gonna have to do here is go for the settle and then jailer afterwards. But I don't know. I don't think you can really afford to do that. Um, mm. It's really rough here. 
Yeah. Uh, do you think if that goes through unobstructed, I mean, he doesn't counter the settle, he leaves the counter for the Palestella. That's the ideal situation, right? Because if you don't... Yeah, but I think you have to go for the settle. Well, I think you probably end up going for the settle here. You could let the settle resolve and then just go with Tassiger to kill, right? And that's just 1-1 one, one and leaves up your counter spells and your removal. And maybe that's what they'll do. And I think that's probably a better line, but... Yeah? We'll see. But yeah. like even, even if this goes through, and it did, um, it, 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 is that enough for, for Wolf to get back in here? Really? I don't think so, because you just get to deploy this Tassiger for one mana, you get to leave up your Erupt Decay and Drown in the Lock, you get to counter this Palace Jailer, and you get to untap with Tassiger and Snapcaster. Um, and some extra mana off the settle, and like, they're, they're just so far ahead. Um, yeah. So what did I miss this match? Game. Uh, double ancestral. Yeah. Yeah, that that does seem like it could put someone ahead. Um and yeah, like, like, um re it is there something that one wolf could draw here, given that he's a Absan Plainswalker deck. Yeah. Yeah, but this drown lock is at the point where it, oh they let it resolve. Okay, that's interesting. I guess they're gonna yeah. flash I, and why would I, I don't know what they're like. Are they gonna try to flash and snapcaster, kill the palace jailer, and then uh get the crown? But why did yeah. they wait till after they've drawn a card? That's Which a bad won't really work. They like they'll target something here. Mm. Um One Wolf, if they expect the counter, they really have to wait for them to cast this. Like, don't kill it in response. Let the trigger resolve. Let them cast the Monomorphos and go in response. Otherwise, yeah. So now they get to drown in the lock, the fatal push. But then they don't have a removal spell for the Palace Jailer, I guess. So that, that still yeah. works. No. Hmm? But they didn't. They just Monomorphos to kill the Jailer, I guess, here. Yeah, I, I don't... Like, I understand letting it resolve. Because the thing is, if you drown in the lock, kill it now... Or, or you counter the spell in response. You just have a 2-1 against their 2-2, but that doesn't do anything. Mm. Um, and they still, like... It doesn't get you the monarchy this turn. Well, they do have black mana because there's an Urborg in play, Nick. So they, they have access to all the black mana they need. Yeah, no worries. And this... Oh, this Gideon... Will be interesting again like though this drum lock is just unlocked for basically everything you can even counter this ugin so he, he he's I've... been very uh reserved with that drawn the, the lock he has not been very forthcoming I... with it just keeping it he... in his hand for anything that might pop up yeah like this yeah. gideon probably yeah. well i don't it know might do you care it. Like, I think the I think the, you do because the, it doesn't. You don't get to kill it here with Mandrel's Goyf. You can't kill it um, this turn, yeah. and so they get to draw two cards off it essentially. Hmm. Yeah, I guess the Ugin will come down and clean up if they hit another land though. Yeah, so they have a chance here. They've got this uh, Jailer trigger, and they get to draw a turn on their upkeep, um, and maybe they can. That's one. That's one way they can get out of it is if they draw a land at some point soon. Um, Collective Brutality, oh, they're dead. Oh, yeah. Tumor Brutality, Our... drain them. Oh, yeah, they're swing dead. For, uh, ten. Well, they're dead, dead on board, ten. swing on 10. So, unfortunate. Really, really close. Um, yeah, the, it was just about that Wolf could stabilize from that insane yeah, card and, advantage. Yeah, really. navigate their way around these counter spells, and uh, they just... Um, Petsman was able to really balance them out, play really conservatively with their counters, um, really considered a lot of the lines, I think, of and not just, like, snapping off the counter spell as soon as possible and really waiting for maximum value, because um, 
Monolfa's deck is one that can really accrue a ton of value if it gets its wheels turning, right? You see that Palace Jailer starts to draw cards. You can get a Planeswalker or two down. Um, and so being able to determine, can I answer this with what I already have without giving up my counterspell? Um, and they were able to just, you know, leverage those delve threats and get through. So the winner there was a Secret Pipesman, yes? In three? Yes, 2 1 by Pipesman. Um, we also had a result. Um, from um, Nick went to a yeah, and I went I went Nick to yes, yes. Uh, and you went two o or o two? No, 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 no. I got crushed. O two. O two. Okay, so e progress. What one in two? Good. Uh, and Brams and Evermist is having uh technical difficulties. Let's say. Um, I think they uh, oh. they made a room that could only. Uh, yeah, I think apparently they only got in one game or something like that. And so then it, they uh, have to do the other two or something. I'm not entirely sure. Um, uh, I... How often do you okay, elves the end of the Roms is in a chat right now, and they said that they've got two games left. Uh, they're on game two, so... Yes, Sorry. Uh, What's up? What? Uh, how often do you LSV into the booth? Uh, pretty much like at the end of a round, if there's a, uh... because that's what ten... that's what tends to happen, is right as I... as people finish, they'll pop back in and talk and hang out. Um, so I, I think I only did that once when I was able to play in this tournament. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, uh, yeah, Para is a and a, if I may say so, a very good. Um, uh, solo commentator like you you can r take uh, a silent room and run with it pretty well uh, where yeah. uh, i i really i i when i try to commentate it's it's pretty hard for me to do so if i don't have somebody to bounce off of um and un unfortunately uh we we uh, the the fantastic usual suspect um in uh what's his moments yeah Lomans Lomans, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, so he 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 was uh busy with the kits um yeah and, and red mage is out today as well so it's just down to well, yeah that that's the reason i am hosting to begin with uh, but um, yeah, and unfortunately, uh, Bronze and Evermiss game has uh, is not watcher enabled, so we can't um, oh, pop in and take a look. No, leaf. but even if we could, I can't because uh, of the uh, the whole thing with my computer having dual graphics card and integrated graphics, and the stream needing to be on one, but while Midgo uses another, and really? the data really isn't weird. compatible, or something. That's wild. Okay. Sounds miserable. Yeah, it. I really need a second screen for my computer tower, so I can run everything off a proper graphics card, and then I don't have to deal with this shit. <laughs> well... Yeah. Fortunately, you do. Fortunately, this is only a temporary um, situation because TRM normally runs it, so it's not usually a problem. But well, so we'll just have to wait, hang out until uh, they're done. So um, I can see here that it our uh, finals and therefore our feature match for the last round once we get the final result in will be um, 
Pipes Run Epoch versus, Epoch versus Secret Pipesman. Yeah. So we'll have a Mardu aggro deck versus uh, Four Color. Xerox. Yeah, tempo-ish. It's kind of, I don't know, it's like a... Yeah, it's Xerox. I don't know really how to describe it. Um, and... A deck. <laughs> How how do you think that? Oh, it looks like uh, Brahms Evermist is done. Evermist two <laughs> over Brahms. So Evermist in, in two. Well, I wouldn't say fantastic, but you know, we are ready for the finals, and that's always a good old time. So I have pairing. Yeah, that's how I would describe it as well, Pipesman. Like it's it's more of a mid-range-ish deck. It's not really a tempo deck, but it's playing, like... It's very hard to describe that kind of deck, I think, as, like, a yeah. specific style. Uh, there we have that. And so... Uh... We're getting the feature maps set up right now. We will be. Nice. Feature match is finals. That means Epoch versus Pipesman. <laughs> And that would be it. Uh, where is Pipesman? Has he gone and buggered off? I hope not. I can't see him in no, nowhere. Hold on, I'm getting a call. I'm here now. Yep, there you are, indeed. Yeah, I had the stream open so I could listen without messing with the chat with the voice chat. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, oh, I just need the uh, epoch to also give me a call. There we have that one. And it seems he has already invited you, Neff. Is that correct? Huh. I don't think so, but the invites don't really work with me due to... Anyways, good. Uh, then I will be the one to give you a... Can you send me the link because yes. something, something, Google Hangouts, Chrome rendering. Here we have uh, that one. And so we just need to set up the hand cams before you start. So please go into the match. Okay. Also, so I can set up the overlay. Yeah, we are almost done with the hand cams. Please bear with us.
uh, and you have to fix that one as well. And that's them good. That's nice. it. Thank you, gentlemen. You may begin. Well, I see a hand with two of the best cards from last year. Yeah. And so we, I am just going to open up. That is a secret pipesman in the top. And Secret Pipesman is, of course, on four-color Xerox. Uh, and in the bottom, we have our Madu Acro deck by Epoch. Fantastic stuff. Epoch. Acro. Transition and everything is hunky dory. So, uh, a slow start, fairly, uh, which will be rapidly accelerated by this uh, Oko. That's just going to yeah. throw a wrench game. into things. Um, so... Yeah. What is the does he does uh, uh does um epoch have enough burn to get rid of this Oko? Like the answer usually is no. Just and With that's a Oko scoop. That was something like that. I think this is going to go. If this is the tempo for 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 the evening, this is the fastest finals we have ever wit witnessed on the specific program. Um, However, it yeah. does not appear that we will get a repeat, but still, um, uh, a mental note here, or, or, or preordain, of course, um, will set up uh, Tamagoyf nicely, uh, eventually going into a, a Gurmag Angler. That's really not something you can ha can deal with as a as a burn deck like if you need to spend two bolts on a tamagoyf and then spend two bolts on a gurmag angler then you add a gas and then the 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 tempo deck really can get in there and and grind up grind out some advantage yeah like uh, like a sorcery speed bolt answers the goif. Yeah, but they don't have one. 
like the best impression they have is like a Titan strength on a block or if they get blocked or yeah or charm if they get blocked and with that Boros charm they need a lot more I mean, yeah they need the Titan strength basically is the way they kill it and Titan that's still a two for that. one yeah I... though the Stormkirk Noble kind of did its job yeah. of getting a few points of damage in, so I guess it's more of like a one and a half for one. I I can see like what you're, you're getting at that. Considering in like yeah. in terms of the burn player, yeah, because the burn player wants all their cards to do at least three damage, sometimes two, and that's what the Stormkirk Noble did. Yeah, it, it, the attacking twice will and effectively it, like, have made down the made it with better. The help of another card. Yeah. So while so. Epoch is probably isn't unhappy about that trade, but still he's gonna need is more cards than he has to deal with all that secret pipesman yeah. is throwing at him. Um, yeah, Epoch probably needs to. Do they have like any? Removal that can actually answer fish, like a path. Because path answers fish. If they draw a path, they can get through the fish. Mm, I don't know. Um... If, if they run path, which some Mardu Agra does. I, I can. When I, played, when I played Boros for a bit, I for the deck lists. Because... Yeah. Uh, I. I... He... Here you have the Syrox list. Well, like, but uh, Pipe Man is still like, still pretty low despite the Gangler. Uh, of course. Have the acro list. And the Acro list is. Like they can't really afford to play Thoughtseize. Like, so that's just a card in hand that's just offline. Yeah. Uh, and here you go, the Madu Acro list. Uh, Thank you. And I played it... some red white, which is just like red aggro with like the few uh, like strictly better white cards. Yeah. Um, he like does uh, not red. appear to be running any only white uh, removal spells. Uh, let's see, they have a bunch of burn. His only white instants and sorceries are Boros Charm and Lightning Helix. Yeah, they do not run Path. Like, honestly, Path, even though it is, doesn't ever, like, it doesn't go face sometimes, like, they are not as all in on speed as they could be. Yeah. Like they have some threes that are clearly there to like grind just enough to win a mid range match. Like the uh, Midnight Reaper is clearly there to like try and get the last bit of gas in a mid range matchup. I, 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 I can see your logic there, but I still think. That like, like, um, no, like, that's not why they're not running path, but like, if they're already like playing a few cards that just are there to grind a little bit against mid range, not against control. Control will just like ruin them. Yeah, and, uh, and... I would probably like also play path because path is really good when you're getting stonewalled by mid range. That yeah. Um... But like, I, that would be my logic. I, I also this, yeah, this. Uh, hand of epochs or not epoch, pipesman seems pretty good. Yeah, it 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 ain't bad. It sure does counter their first play. Um. And maybe even their second. 
I, 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 I think that, uh, that Epoch is more of a, it has to, to, to be able to do damage, kind of, player. kind, kind of burn player, and, and really, uh, because this is not the first deck list that Epoch submitted. Um, currently, there is a bug going around on Modo where um, Eternalized cards are bugged. And they're not just bugged in the match, they are so bugged that they cannot be loaded. If you have the deck selected with an Eternalized creature, you cannot so you join can't play for any the camera. No, yes. Yes, that. And therefore, people were freaking out yesterday. Like, I, I can't saw. get into this. I can't get in with all, any of my red decks. What is going on? Is Wizard n nerfing red decks altogether? Is red just a good? No. People knew that was not what was happening, but like it was a very weird situation and nobody knew what was going on. And so, just as a safety precaution, we had all our players who were on primarily red-based decks swap out to uh, decks that even if they have red are not Based as red. as heavy uh, and and because that was the only thing that we knew made the problem disappear until we had it isolated to the single card uh, Earthshaker Kenra and so the yeah. original list that Epoch um, submitted was, if I recall correctly, not Madu, but rather um, Rakdos, and was even more all in than this is. Yeah, like when I played Boros a while back, like basically, I was digging for like the three mana Tajik, the the new one. Legion's Edge. That one's yeah. really good. It's it attacks for three to four damage. The turn you slam it and like just messes with things a bunch. Like yeah, yeah. Um. So, like looking at this game, I can see that. Uh, the... Again, epochs. Uh, Epoch's kind of on the losing end of it again. Yeah. Um, and, and with this fifth land drawn, uh, Secret Pipesman is like doing incredibly yeah. well despite essentially flooding out like they just dealt with like they like stonewalled the initial few threats and now have like the ability to outrace them yeah and there's and right here uh, with that fetch he traded four damage for a single damage putting him far ahead in the race. Yeah. Even with this, that's five damage swinging in, which he can either block, yeah, and then activate to get a two damage in on uh, on, on Epoch. Yeah. That it. Uh, but, like, Epoch is still drawing live. He has plenty of burn to deal with this flyer. So if if no, that, that, that doesn't come a counterspell from, from Secret Pipesman, we might be saying a stabilization, I think. Yeah. I think 
they're basically stable. I'm winning this race, yeah. even like with Burn in hand, I think. This fear vandal is gonna like mess up some combat math. Yeah. Uh, if they can get a cantrip, they just win now. Actually. Um, is yeah, both no, of. They, 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 oh shit. Uh, if they can, hit, if they can hit like an actual cantrip off this dig through time, and they just win. Yeah, because. No, oh, not strictly. The searing spear. Will make short mm -hmm. work of this uh, fairy scandal, vandal. Va fairy yeah, yeah. vandal. But no. yeah, I suppose he did rather uh, want to wait. So I guess you can like hope. To, uh, does uh, does uh, burn? What? I'm gonna check if uh, Pipesman has burn. They didn't hit any. Uh, I don't think we'll burn so. To close up the game. But this is a very tight race, right? Like this is a turn to sit siding, winning and losing. Yeah. Like one of the tightest races I've seen. Oh, it's so close. Oh, yeah, they do have burn in their deck to, like, close up the game if necessary. But, like... Okay, so they're, like, this base Grixis. They are a single land away from winning here, and they just can't do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was, that's sad. Ay, 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 yeah. ay. Just... Sometimes you need to run less land, and it hurts you sometimes. Uh, yeah. That means, as I see it... That means we're done with the finals. That was some quick magic. Like, decisive. Yeah. If you want to have a bunch of free time during your tournament... Yeah. Yeah, play red. But, uh, yeah, you either win quick or lose quick. Yeah. And unfortunately for him, this time he lost. Which means that our winner for this week's 10th point tournament is none other than the fantastic Secret Pipesman. A veteran of the recent format, uh, if not from the actual Canadian uh, history, uh, Canadian history of Canadian Highlander, a frequent uh, contributor on the Discord. Where, if you want, uh, uh, if you are out there. If you want to join us, come join the Discord. It is where all the online Canadian Highlander action goes down. Uh, I, if I can, I get a message in. Yeah, there we are. And. Of course, as we cannot, in any reasonable time frame, fix my setup and get any of the other matches. We have already, if I'm not mistaken, get gotten a couple of results in. Yes, um, so it would not make sense essentially, to start taking a look at the remaining games from the lower brackets. So I think we're going to end it on the streaming side for this week. So big congratulations to Secret Pipesman 
for winning this week's tournament. As always, the results will be up with the VOD later on once the true host, the Red Mage, comes back and it, it's the whole damn thing. Thanks, Red Mage. <laughs> If you've been watching, thanks for watching, and we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.